it is currently 12 in the afternoon. I finished my presentation. It went really well. And so that's behind me. Last presentation of the entire semester. Maybe even my life. That would be interesting. <laughs> but, oh no. It's starting to sprinkle and my hair is straight. That's not good. Oh no. Went into this like office-like area um, that is owned by the organization I work for here on campus so I just went there and I did my homework for one of my other classes so I'm pretty much done with homework and presentations and projects and everything and now all I have to do is worry about exams so that's fun and exciting I have one more class for the day um, we're going to be doing a review for the final. I'm excited to be done with homework and stuff, but I'm not excited to pack. Because <laughs> the closer we get to finals week, the closer I need to start packing up my life. And then also drive like 12 hours. So, I'm not looking forward to that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello. And welcome to Baking with Nisha. Today, we are making these box brownies because I don't bake. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And also because I have nothing else to do today. And, of course, this is Vlogmas, so I probably should have done, like, some Christmas cookies or something like that. Something, I don't know, Christmas-like. But... The brownies is all I got, okay? So, do with it. I don't know what to tell you. Preheat oven to 350. Okay. Hey. Oh, Mama, you're so cute. I can't. Leave the wires alone. I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're crooked, aren't you? Why would you be crooked? Why did you, why did you choose to do that? Hey, don't leave, Momo. Comment down below what is your favorite, like what kind of baked goods person are you? Because for me, I do not care for cake, actually. Like if I were to have a wedding at some point, I probably wouldn't even have a wedding cake unless it was important to like my husband's side of the family or something or someone was willing to pay for it. Then I'd be like, okay, whatever. Have the stupid cake. I don't care. Um, but I probably wouldn't even eat it. So <laughs> I've gone to weddings where I haven't even eaten the cake. And that's just that's just how it is. I'm much more of a brownie person, especially the ones that have walnuts in it. That's my cup of tea. I like brownies. I like pastries. I'm a pastry gal. I like mm, like a like a cherry turnover. Give it to me now. Guys, I don't know where half of our things went. Where is the one-fourth cup? I found it. One-fourth cup of water. And then one-third cup of vegetable oil. I feel a lavender is creeping up for me. So there's this like assumption that people that can cook can't bake and I don't know if it's actually true but for me it is. <laughs> I am a pretty good cook for the most part. I do be burning stuff sometimes but that's only because I'll be impatient and I'll put it on a high setting when I shouldn't or it's because I like forgot about it <laughs> or something like that. So. I guess that is my fault. I was going to say that, that I had no control of that, but I do. I could just be patient. I know people say that you should crack your eggs um, in a separate bowl to like make sure it's not spoiled or whatever, but I've literally never done that in my entire life, and I've been completely fine. So...
Would I listen to the people that say to not do that? Probably. They're the real bakers of the world. But like I said, I cook. However, baking is really fun. I've been in that phase though when it's like two or three in the morning and you're awake for some reason and you decide to bake cookies or whatever. I've done that before and it's just, I don't know, it's kind of therapeutic. But I'm not the best baker unless it's like a box mix and that's because um, the directions are a lot better for me with the box mix because um, I think the issue with this stigma that cooks can't bake is the mere fact that with cooking you can kind of do whatever you want <laughs> like you can you can add as much flavoring or as little flavoring as you want but with baking you have to be precise you know and that's just like not my cup of tea i just i don't bake unless it's boxed so yeah after that, you need to bake it for 35 to 38 minutes. Why do brownies bake so dang long? I want to eat it now. How's this Christmas treating you guys? Let me know. I'd love to know how you guys are doing. How's it going? How are the holidays? Is it a great year for you? Do you hate it because you have to see your family and you hate your family? You know, like that's very real. Like, it's, like it may sound crappy, but it's a, it's real. You know, it's a real thing. Family is annoying. It's just a fact. Nobody can make you want to leave this planet as much as your mother could. And, <laughs> um, and uh, that's just that's just how things are. How are you doing? Gonna do thirty. Seven minutes. Well, that's going. I'll just lick the batter, you know. I don't want anyone in the comments talking about some salmonella this, salmonella that. I don't literally care. You know when, like, Rocky, when he drinks that um, uncooked egg? How come no one talks about salmonella with that? Why are bodybuilders and, like, people that are training, why are they able to just drink a raw egg? And it's just fine. Tell me how that makes sense. Until you tell me how that makes sense for them to do that and be completely fine and not have to worry about salmonella. And you tell me why I have to worry about salmonella by putting it in a batter. Unless you can tell me that, leave me alone. And even if you can tell me that, I probably still won't listen because it's good. Do so much I hate you. So hard to blame you, Momo. Talking to you. <laughs> she did like this. The... Magic eraser. It's a game changer. <laughs> the brownies are good. Hi, Momo. You're so cute. <laughs> oh, quality check. She's such a good cat. She never eats the human food. She just likes to smell it. <laughs> She's gotten so spoiled, guys. I have to wet her food in order for her to eat it. We're little dysfunctional college students. We don't have the money for wet food. <laughs> So, we just went with the water bottle. On this gloomy day, the only things I need to do is edit uh, another video, and then I'm gonna try and finish The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, my channel's name is Bookish Nisha, but for some reason I haven't really been talking about books that much in the vlogs, necessarily. So, when I start reading more of the book i'll probably give you some of my thoughts and opinions so far i am getting close to the end i'm on part five um chapter nine it says i'm 74 percent through with the audiobook um i got the audiobook on libby i always get all my audiobooks on libby um and then i also have the physical with me i got it from my school library 
and so I'll just follow along when I like have downtime to also follow along but this audiobook is pretty easy to like just listen to like I don't feel like I need to follow along in order to um, pay attention and know what's happening and stuff so that's good opinions so far being 74% through with it um a lot of people say that this book is going to be um probably considered a classic in a hundred years from now and i see where people are coming from with that because i feel like the writing of this book is the most like modern way of a classic like it feels like I'm reading a classic but not struggling because the wording isn't things I don't understand you know what I mean and so I get where people are saying that and I definitely agree some people say it's kind of boring um which I feel like it makes sense for it to be boring because the whole premise of the book is the fact that she's basically immortal you know she makes a deal um with the devil basically that she didn't think through very well and so she's just living her life being forgotten all the time and so of course like living for so long your life's gonna be a little boring <laughs> i do think if i wasn't listening to it i probably would have taken a long time to physically read it it would have taken me so long to finish it i think um, it's a lot easier to listen to, especially since a lot of the things are like, it's not mundane tasks necessarily, but it's just, I don't know, like the things that happen in the book are not like crazy fantasy level things. They're somewhat more mundane in a way. Um even though there are things that are happening there's like new information that you get to learn in every chapter and stuff but i don't know there's just there's something about it to where like i understand why it feels boring even though you're getting this information um often and you're getting to know new things about her i guess because it's more info dumping instead of like plot i guess you could say but I do enjoy it. I would recommend um, using an audiobook instead of physically reading it. I personally have not tried to just physically read it and not listen to it also. So I feel like if I did, um, it would just take forever. I'll be a rebel and I'll go to the three times speed, which is what I've been listening to it on. And so it's only taken me like less than five hours to get to 74% of the book. So it can be a quick read if you want it to be. Um, the chapters are pretty short. I was kind of overwhelmed with the fact that there's seven parts and there's like 15 ish chapters for each part um other than the seventh the seventh only has like four or five something like that so i was a little intimidated by that but the chapters are pretty like they're really short um so i would recommend it so far but i haven't finished it so <laughs> but that is my book update for you and since it's 1 a.m i'm gonna end the vlog here and go to sleep <laughs> so happy vlogmas everyone thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe and i will see you tomorrow bye